almost coughed out. You got that heater on full blast. You got all the windows down, and you're just. <laughs> you're such a <laughs> Came down to the lease today just to kind of scout out. Um, scout out a couple of my stands that I've got here. Corn up a little bit. Been having a whole lot of hogs on the camera, which would be awesome to walk up on one. Got my Taurus G2C, G2, not sure, but I got my Taurus 9 with me. So if I do see a hog, we're gonna, we're gonna try to get a little bacon, you know? Uh, but other than that, just kind of scout around the property, see if there's any sign. I uh, have had a couple does on camera, but no bucks yet. So it is August the 6th. Super hot. Deer aren't moving a ton, I don't feel like. So I hope that I can get them coming in early, get them used to coming in so we can have a good bow opener here. But we will see. About to haul a 40 pound sack of corn through the woods. It's a pretty good walk. Gonna sweat a ton. I'm gonna have put my bug spray on. Got the bug spray on. That is a necessity here. Didn't do it last time like a moron and had shorts on, which now I have pants and Crocs, which isn't much better. So yeah, here we go. I just walked. Had to make a little bit of a new trail because a tree fell down in my old trail. So kind of going around it. Just don't want to disturb things a ton. Want to straight line in as best I can. But uh, so I went and kind of trimmed a little new trail. I was in there. I mean, I walked 20 yards from the truck in here. Something got up, which is most likely a hog. If not multiple get up. I've got my Taurus 9, and I've got a 40-pound sack of corn. So uh, between the two things, I should be able to take care of them all. My uncle texted me the other day, said he saw some hogs eating a dead doe on the side of the, uh, side of the road. It's not something like comforting, not something you want to hear, especially when you're out in the woods by yourself, but that's why you should always at least have a pistol. So. Uh, we're gonna make our way through the woods. Here we go. As you can see, there's sign everywhere. I saw some on the walk in. Obviously more here to stand. Uh, it's not a question as if they're in here, it's when they're in here and where they're coming from to where I know what side I want my, you know, when do I want to hunt this stand. And thanks to hunt wise, I can go on there. Once I figure out their path, I can figure out what way I want the wind blowing in order for me to hunt the stand. So if I think they're coming from this pine thicket behind me or this transition line uh, into what was an old cutover, it looks like into these pines, I'll know when that I can hunt my stand based off the wind. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna go look at some sign. Gonna go look at some old trails to see maybe where we think they're going. One thing with pigs, you get. I mean, they leave the most obvious sign. They root up the ground, as you can see, literally behind me. They'll root up the ground. Uh, they will then waller in like mud holes or wherever around your stand, and then they'll rub up against trees. So you can almost figure out. You can figure out where their trails are going and where they're coming from, possibly. You know, at least a, a line. Um, pretty easily, based off that. So, thank God I got my bush nail. You know, I did the video about it. I got the bush nail, Cellucor. Oh, Cellucor trail cam out here. Uh, it's a pretty solid camera. And it's got like one bar of service out here. And, it, and it's still sending me stuff. And then you can see my stand behind me. Look how incredibly hit I am right there. Not very, but... You'd be surprised to see some deer and stuff out here. So I'm going to put the corn out. Then there's a little area over here where I know they travel. We'll go check it out, see if there's any fresh sign. And uh, yeah, trying to figure out when we can, when we can kill these things, you know? I had a guy last year tell me that he throws his corn out like incredibly spread out. I mean, which feeders do that too. And you got some people that dump them in, that just dump it in piles. He told me he spreads it out because deer are naturally grazers. Makes a ton of sense. 
Uh, but today, what I'm trying to figure out is how close I can get these deer in these hogs with this camera so I can just check them out and uh, just get them to come super close to the stand just so they kind of get used to it. But in season, I'll back it up a little bit, obviously 20 plus yards. So, so we for sure got hog sign in, in this little bit of water that is here. They've used it and come and waller. And what I was talking about earlier about how they rub up against trees it's uh it's pretty evident where what this is i mean it is a straight line you can even see them back in there as well where they're coming from you can see deep on the other side right there they're clearly coming from in there and they're using that mud hole on the opposite side and they're crossing this fence they're coming in and they're either going to these holes which my stands right over there or they're going the opposite way and going to that pond so this is kind of the the pinch point i think where they decide am i going to try to see if there's something to eat over here am i going to lay there's another patch on the other side where they might lay down or am i going to the pond so honestly i think that's it and i think they're coming from this way and they're crossing right in front of my my stand or they're walking past it so I would want the wind, I don't even know what direction that is. I think it's, uh, I'm not even sure. So I'll figure it out on the, I don't want to mess it up. You know, a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of pressure. Then you got, you can tell here, I don't know. I mean, most people know, some people don't. Uh, see, that's a hog track right there. And you can tell how short and how rounded off they are. If you guys have any other indicators on what you think and how you decide, uh, you know, if that's a hog or a deer, let me know because I mean, super average hunter here. Uh, just need all the help I can get. So you can tell over here where they are rooting. They are mad, looking for something to eat, looking for anything to eat. You can kind of tell that here. And they're obviously muddy when they go through this. You can tell the straight line <laughs> to my stand. They legitimately walk through here, just nastiness and all straight to the corn pile you can see where i laid out the corn over there so uh, we're just gonna keep kind of watching for a while plus i don't have the time right now to come hunt right in the middle of the day just started back work um we're just gonna kind of keep monitoring the area and see if we can't get them coming here in the daylight before we can get this hog population down there but for now yeah that's it just kind of wanted to show you guys where i might be hunting this would be one of the stands uh, there's another stand on this property uh, but i'm thinking about moving it just because i'd like another one uh, they're both like good you would hunt you would hunt each stand with the same wind direction i need two different wind direction stands on this property so fired up for season guys check out hunt wise again this is a great episode for hunt wise use kco 20 code promo code when you check out uh, again i use the app before they were a sponsor of the show or a sponsor of the channel and whatnot so check those guys out it's a great tool do a ton of e-scouting and uh, hopefully makes us more efficient hunter so yeah until next time